Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am not here with Kiki Sparkles in this video, but I don't think she's going to care because we're going to talk about Madam Web, a Spider-Man spin-off movie that nobody cares about. Yet another one. Now they're saying that Madam Web may set the record for the lowest opening ever for a Spider-Man adjacent movie that it could open worse than Morbius. Morbius was abysmal. I think Craven is going to be abysmal. And Madam Web, I keep forgetting it even exists, but it's not going to do very well, guys. I mean, if <laughs> if you can't make uh, known Marvel and DC characters stick at the box office now, you're sure as hell not going to make any money off of Madam Web. We're going to talk about this. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I, I cannot believe Sony is going to go ahead with these these uh, Spider-Man villain verse movies. Such a stupid idea. Like, Venom made sense. Nobody cares about Kraven without Spider-Man. Nobody cares about Morbius without Spider-Man. Nobody cares about Morbius with Spider-Man. Like, we're really scraping the bottom of the freaking barrel. So, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, no woohoos today. Definitely no woohoos at Sony, because it, it looks like they're going to have a really rough Valentine's Day. They're saying that the Bob Marley biopic may do better at the box office than a Spider-Man adjacent movie. Um, this is coming from Game Ramp. Madam Web box office debut may set an unwanted record for Sony Spider-Man universe movies. The box office predictions suggest that Dakota Johnson's movie might garner an unwanted first for Sony Spider-Man universe films. Despite being highly anticipated, bull bullshit, nobody's looking forward to this. Early projections suggest that Madam Web may struggle at the box office, potentially having the lowest opening weekend among all Spider-Man movies. Just do just, just do a movie of Japanese Spider-Man, right? Godzilla Minus One made a whole lot of money. In fact, that's where Geeky is. She went to go see the black and white version of Godzilla Minus One. That's where she is today, guys. She's not sick. She's, she went to go see Godzilla with the kids. That being said, just make the Japanese Spider-Man into a movie. I would watch the hell out of that. That's money in the bank, guys. The film's <laughs> expected performance is seen as disappointing, with the lesser-known characters and changes to Spider-Man casting possibly impacting audience appeal, making it harder for standalone movies to succeed at the box office. Madam Webb's box office predictions suggest Dakota Johnson might set a new negative record. Uh, yeah, it ranks high among the most anticipated superhero projects. No, it does not. Quit lying. I don't know who's telling you this. Sony is Sony saying it's 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 the best movie ever featuring Madam Web. Nobody gives a shit about Madam Web. I didn't realize that they made her younger, that they have a younger Madam Web because it's been so long since I've read Amazing Spider-Man because One More Day basically broke Spider-Man for me, so I don't really care. But she was always just some old broad in a chair. And I'm like, I don't care about Madam Web. I have no, I have no interest in seeing a movie about Madam Web. According to Deadline, Madam Web is on track to make over $25 million in the first six days of release. The report indicates that Madam Web could debut in the uh, second position with those figures behind the Bob Marley biopic. If these projections are correct, Madam Web's opening weekend box office total could make it Sony's first ever Spider-Man universe project not to grab the number one position in its opening weekend. Since 2002, Spider-Man movies have become huge successes at the box office. Some of them. <laughs> Some of them have. Uh, with these projected figures, Madam Web might also end up having the lowest grossing opening weekend for any live-action Spider-Man movie ever, leaving Morbius behind. Which, even Morbius... Huge disappointment earned $39 million during its opening weekend. The Madam Web box office report comes a few days after another report claimed that the movie could end its theatrical run somewhere between $56 and $101 million. That's not good. The production giant might find the movie's expected performance disappointing, especially considering the reported $80 million budget. That's not a very big budget, though. If you can't even make that back. I mean, it looks low rent. It looks like a CW show. The problem is not many people know or get excited about these lesser-known characters, making it hard for audiences to want to spend money on their standalone movies. Pick characters that, from Spider-Man that people actually care about. They care about Venom. They would care about Doc Ock. I think you could do a Doc Ock movie. I think you could. Um, I think you could do any of like the A-list the a villains, but they're not even picking the A-list villains. 
Like if you do, you know, Goblin and Son or something, you know what I'm saying? Like that would probably do okay. The Goblins, you know, something like that would do all right. The Sinister Six would probably do okay. You know, but you're picking like freaking, except for, I mean, Craven's not a D-list character, but like nobody, he's not, he's not well known to people outside of comics. And the movie looks like shit. It does. In this movie, it looks like shit. Nobody cares. Do a Spider-Ham movie. A Spider-Ham movie or a Japanese Spider-Man movie would do better than this This shit's going to do. For sure. Um, Yeah, so they said including Garfield or Toby, Toby Maguire might have made things better for Adam Webb. Uh, it would also have impacted the film's box office run. Yeah, so apparently Andrew Garfield was going to be Spider-Man and Madam Web. That actually would have been pretty interesting. However, one positive thing about Madam Web, oh, they later chose Tom Holland. Is he actually in it? Is he actually in it? Or are they allowed to use him? Hmm. This created a timeline mistake as Madam Web is supposed to be set in the 90s, uh, leading to reshoots to remove Spider-Man references in the specific year. Oh my God, that's stupid. Yeah, if they had actually used uh, Tobey Maguire or Andrew Garfield, it might have actually done okay. There, there are rumors that Tobey Maguire's in it. That would actually be kind of cool. I don't know if they're allowed to use him though, because of whatever the hell's going on with, with Disney and Marvel and Spider-Man and all that. But that would be really cool if he was in it. That might help it a little bit, but you'd think they'd lead with that. Like, hey, yeah, 30 seconds of Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man again, guys. This is practically another uh, Into the Spider-Verse. This is practically another uh, No Way Home. You know, it's like, you got to see this movie, right? Um, wow. Yeah. They're talking about, you know, across the spider verse into the spider verse. Those movies did really well because they had actual Spider-Man, uh, in them and also miles Morales. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying so this is not good. This is really not good. Freaking sub Morbius debut. And who the hell is this guy? I feel like I should know who this is, but I don't know who this is. Uh, they said, yeah, 27 to 33 million over a six day period. Oh, that's what Morbius. Oh, that's what Bob Marley's doing. Okay. Um, Morbius did 39 million and Webb is eyeing 25 to 35 million. In comparison, Ant-Man the Wasp did 120 million in the weekend last year. But it cost a lot more money too. That's not good. That's not good. They have Argyle coming out. That's more of a rom-com type thing, right? Plus it's got Henry Cavill and Valentine's Day. Might have to take Geeky to go see that one. Who am I kidding? I'm going to see it for myself. No, I I don't know, guys. This is, this is not good. Um, so let's see. Uh, Madam Webb's timeline reveal hints at a big Tobey Maguire Spider-Man connection. They're saying it was in the 90s. But I don't think any Spider-Man's in it. It connects to Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies. Uh, Holland will continue with Spider-Man in the MCU. Garfield's rumored to return as the amazing for the Amazing Spider-Man 3, which I think they could do. I think they could do it now. I think he'd be really good. Making McGuire the easiest candidate for the, the SSU to enlist. So they're talking that the Spider-Man supervillain universe or whatever the hell they're calling it. Um, is that what they're, what, is that what SSU means? Spider-Man cinematic universe or whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, Tobey Maguire would be a good candidate, but it, it's going to confuse people. You know, it's... It's just, it's, why? Why are you doing this? Why are you making these stupid, shitty movies? Nobody wants a Madam Web movie. Did you not do like a focus? Like, hey, hey, random people on the street. Have you ever heard of Madam Web? No. Oh, okay, because we're making a movie about her. Who is she? Well, she's this like background character from Spider-Man comics. Oh, okay. She's got spider powers too. She's spider adjacent. Okay, is she cool? No, she's like some old broad in a chair. Well, except now she's not. We're gonna get a younger, we're gonna trade her in for a younger model and she's she's that girl uh, from 50 Shades. Cause you know, we figured webs, uh, leather, bondage, it's all kind of the same thing, right? Would you see this movie? No, I would not see this movie. Well, we're gonna make it anyway. Next, yeah, like what the fuck? Where, where are the focus groups for this shit? Just ask random people on the street, would you watch this movie? Yes or no. My God, I used to get pulled aside back in the day when I lived in California. I'd go to the mall. They'd pull me aside, have me like taste drinks and stuff and be like, is this good? I'd be like, no, this is horse piss water. And they'd be like, well, if enough people say it's horse piss water, 
We just don't make it and we save a lot of money. That's what you do. Is your movie horse piss water? You don't make it and you save a lot of money. Bada bing, bada boom. It's real easy. Real easy stuff, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants. And we'll talk later.